Hi guys, welcome to Sabondi Academy. In today's video, we'll be solving the question 13 of the 2022 Wasi June Call Mass Theory questions. We'll begin with question 13a. The hour hand of a 24 hour clock moves from 13 15 pm to 17 45 pm. If the length of the hour hand is 3.5 centimeters, find correct to three significance figures the area swept by the hour hand. Take pi to be 22 over 7. So let's begin with our solution. First, let's draw our clock. So we have 3, 9, 12, and 6. Then we have 1 here, 2 here, 4 and 5. seven and eight and ten and eleven so for our first time we have three fifteen and when it's three fifteen the hour hand will be here when it's five forty five the hour hand will be here Now to find the distance from here to here, we know that from here to here is one hour, which is 60 minutes. So 60 minutes is equal to one hour. And then 315 is 115, is the same as 115 on a 12 hour clock. So 115 means 15 minutes past one. So if 60 minutes is equal to one hour, 15 minutes is equal to 15 over 60, which is equal to 1 over 4. So from here to here is 1 over 4 of here to here. So this side will be 1 over 4. Now if this side is 1 over 4, then this side will be 3 over 4. From here to here will be 3 over 4. We do the same for here too. Now to find from here to here, we know that this time is 5.45, which is 45 minutes past 5. So the same thing, if 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour, then 45 minutes will be equal to 45 over 60 which should be equal to 3 over 4. So from here to here is 3 over 4, which means from here to here will be 1 over 4. So first, we know that we have to find this angle. We need to find this angle and this angle and this angle. So 12 hours is equal to 360 degrees. So from 12 to 12 is one complete circle. So it's 360. Then one R will be equal to 360 divided by 12. And that is 30 degrees. So one R is 30 degree. Now from five, to four is one hour, which is 30 degrees. We don't know from this to this, but we know that from this to this is three over four of the angle here. So we find three over four of 30. And that will be 22.5 degrees. So the angle here will be 22.5. Also, from here to here is 3 over 4 of 30, which is also 22.5. So the total angle from here to here will be 22.5 plus 30 plus 22.5. So total angle is equal to 22.5 plus 30 plus 22.5. And that will be equal to 75 degrees. So the angle between the hour hands 
is 75 degrees. So if this and this is our, our hands, then the angle here is 75. Now this will be the length of the R hand, which is 3.5 from our question. So we have a sector. Now we are, we are being asked to find the area swept by the R hand, which is the area of this. So the area of the sector we know is theta over 360 times pi r squared. And our theta is 75. So area of sector will be equal to 75 over 360 times pi, which is 22 over 7, times our radius, which is 3.5. So 3.5 squared. The area of the sector will be equal to 8.0208 centimeters squared. But then from the question, we have been asked to correct to three significant figures. So the area will be 8.02 centimeters squared. That's to three significant figures. So this brings us to the end of question 13A. So we'll be moving on to question 13B. 13B, the coordinates of two points M and N in a plane are negative four, three, and X, six, respectively. If the length of MN is equal to three root 10 units, find the value of X. So let's begin with our solution. So M is negative 4, 3, and N is X, 6. And from our question, we know that MN, the length of MN is equal to 3 root 10. So when we have two points A and B with coordinates A, B, and C, D respectively, then the length of A, B, would be equal to C minus A all squared plus D minus B all squared. So taking this into consideration, our line MN will be equal to the square root of X minus minus 4 all squared plus 6 minus 3 all squared. So mn will be equal to the square root of x plus 4 all squared plus 6 minus 3 is 3, so 3 all squared. mn will be equal to the square root of x plus 4 all squared plus 9. And then we know that mn is equal to 3 root 10 units. So all this is equal to 3 root 10. So we have the relation, the square root of x plus 4 all squared plus 9 is equal to 3 root 10. So to eliminate the square root, we can multiply 2 by square. So this times square, this times square. Square cancels the square root. We'll be left with x plus 4 all squared plus 9 is equal to 9 times 10. So you have x plus 4 all squared plus 9 is equal to 90. So x plus 4 all squared will be equal to 90 minus 9. Now 90 minus 9 is equal to 81. So x plus 4 all squared is equal to 81. 
So here we can take the square root of both sides. So we take the square root of this and the square root of this. So square cancels the square root. We'll be left with x plus 4. So x plus 4 is equal to the square root of 81. And the square root of 81 is 9. Now to find x, we group like terms. So x will be equal to 9 minus 4. And x is equal to 5. So the value of x will be 5. This brings us to the end of question 13b and to the end of question 13 of the 2018 of the commerce theory questions.